Namaste and welcome to Om Studio. Uh, today's class will be for those who are in the second trimester of pregnancy. Uh, it's a prenatal class for those who are in the fourth, fifth, or sixth month of pregnancy. We'll be taking up very simple breathing practices, simple pranayama practices, and we'll follow them up with a few gentle movements for the joints, let's say the wrist, the ankles, the neck. Uh, maybe the shoulders and you can take up the practice as long as you're comfortable. Remember the golden rule of practice theorem and so come to be steady and comfortable as you take your practice forward. Now, let's start with a little long chant uh, and then we'll progress further into the practice. Roll the shoulders sitting up nice and tall. If you wish, you can take some back support or sit up on a bolster. You can leave your hands in chin mudra, chin parallel, gently closing your eyes. Nice relaxed breathing, inhale, exhale, soft gentle relaxed breathing, try and keep in your back upright, chin parallel to the floor, turning your attention within, tuning into how the body feels. Tuning into the body and the mind. Nice, soft, relaxed breathing. Okay, turning your hands together into prayer position. Inhaling in, let's go for three Om chants. Uh, Gently, let's release the chin down. Rub your palms together. Tapping them onto your eyes. Slowly release your hands, release your chin, slowly open your eyes. Okay, so let's start our today's practice with some nice deep breathing. We work with our lungs in three parts. When we inhale, first we fill the belly as if the belly is a balloon. Make the belly big when you inhale through the nostrils. Second, you feel you fill in the midrib and third, you fill the top chest. Followed by that, as you exhale through the nostrils, you'll empty first the top chest, the midrib and gently give a little pull in for the belly. Not too much, no compression, no solid compression on the belly. Yeah? Let's roll the shoulders. If you're uncomfortable and you feel if the belly is getting bigger and you're landing up hunching, always try and see if you can pull your center chest. If you wish, you can go close to a wall, maybe take some support against the wall and sit, if that works out better, or else the bolster. Ensure that your back stays upright, hands in chin mudra, chin parallel, gently close your eyes, normal breathing, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Let's begin. Inhale, fill the belly, the midrib, the top chest. Exhale, top chest, midrib. Gently squeeze the belly. Inhale. Exhale, chest, midrib, belly. Let's continue for more. Soft, long inhale. Soft, long exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Keeping your breathing soft, smooth, relaxed and equal. Last exhale. Gently coming back into your normal breathing. You can gently drop your chin down, slowly open your eyes and let's shake the legs out. You can stretch the legs, shake the legs out. If you're uncomfortable, you can support with your hands. 
Okay, now let's come back and sit. Now, if all this while you were sitting with your right leg on top, let's come and change the leg. Let's take the left leg on top. You can come and sit back into Chin Mudra. Let's continue from here into simple breathing with just one nostril. We're going to use Vishnu Mudra. Use your pointing finger and middle finger to drop down to the hump of your thumb. Let your ring finger and little finger be stretching out in the thumb. All right, we're going to use the tip of both the thumb and the ring finger to be blocking when we're working with this breathing. Let's come in, roll the shoulders. You can leave your left hand in Chin Mudra, right hand in Vishnu Mudra. Sitting up nice and tall. Let's come and block the right nostril with our right hand. Inhale from the left, nice, smooth and long. Exhale through the left. Nice, gentle exhale. Continue. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. If you're comfortable, you can close your eyes. Continue. Inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale, exhale, gently release your hands, coming into your normal breathing, let's start on the left, inhale, exhale, Let's come and block the left nostril with your right ring finger. Inhale through the left. Exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Exhale to the right. You can close your eyes gently if you're comfortable. Continue. Continue. Inhale right. Exhale right. Last two. Inhale right. Exhale right. Last one. Inhale right. Exhale right. Gently release your hands. You can slowly drop your chin down. Gently open your eyes. Okay, now in this practice, we work through opening of the left nostril and the right nostril, the ida and the pingala. Let's now move into Anulom Belom. If you're comfortable with your left leg on top or you feel like, okay, maybe you want to stretch your legs out and come and change your leg, you're most welcome to. Um, what I would suggest is that you keep conditioning both the sides. So if you're working with your right leg now on top, you can come into Ardha Padmasana if that's comfortable. Always be careful. The kneecap is not comfortable with the rotation. Don't push it. You can gently maybe leave your leg down or pull it up however you're comfortable. For those who are more open and have been in a regular practice, you could even try coming into a Padmasana as long as you're comfortable. Alright, let's come and either sit in Sukhasana, Ardha Padmasana or Padmasana. Let's roll the shoulders. We'll start into a practice called Anulom Vilom, alternate nostril breathing. Quite simple, you take your right thumb, you block, inhale left, block both your nostrils this time and exhale through the opposite nostril, through the right. Inhale right, you block both your nostrils and then you exhale through the left. Right? So we are alternating the nostrils as we breathe. Let's come in. You can leave your eyes open for the first round if you wish. I'll try and be verbally as clear as possible. You could close your eyes. Get ready for some Anulom Vilom. Leaving your left hand in Chin Mudra, right hand in Vishnu Mudra. Roll your shoulders, sit up nice and tall, gently closing eyes. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, blocking your right nostril with your right thumb. Inhale from the left. Block both your nostrils. Exhale from the right, nice, smooth and long. Inhale right. 
block. Exhale, left, nice, smooth, look. Continue. Inhale, left, block. Exhale, right, nice, smooth and long. Inhale, right. Exhale, left, nice, smooth and long. Adding counts. Inhale, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four. Block. Exhale, right, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four. Inhale, right, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four. Exhale, left, um, one, um, two, um, three. Um, four continue inhale left um, one um, two um, three um, four exhale right um, one um, two um, three um, four inhale right um, one um, two um, three um, four exhale left um, one um, two um, three um, four relax gently you can open your eyes Let's stretch the legs out, shake your legs out. Okay, guys. Now, maybe for some of you, uh, this rhythm of four and four works just beautiful and fine. For some of you, you feel that maybe your exhalation could go longer. In the next set of Unlom Belong, we'll try and take our exhalation, maybe a little more than the inhalation, maybe double it up. If not, you work with what's comfortable. Maybe a four and a four rhythm works fine, or else four in and eight out. Fair enough. Let's try. Let's come and change the leg. Left leg coming on top this time. Roll the shoulders. Left hand chin mudra. Right hand Vishnu mudra. Gently closing your eyes. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, block your right nostril with your right thumb, inhale, left, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four, block, exhale, right, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four, um, five, um, six, um, seven, um, eight, inhale, right, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four, exhale, left, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four, um, five, um, six, um, seven, um, eight. Continue, inhale, left, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four. Exhale, right, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four, um, five, um, six, um, seven, um, eight. Inhale, right, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four. Exhale, left, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four, um, five, six, um, seven, um, eight. Continue on your own counts. Inhale, left. Block, exhale, right. Nice, smooth, long exhale. Inhale, right. Block. Exhale, left, nice, smooth, long exhale. All right. Gently release your hands, getting your chin down, slowly open your eyes. Okay, beautiful. Now, this is just a general marker of each one to his own. It's each one's journey on the mat. So please ensure that you stay with a breath count that is comfortable. The digits are just so that you could measure your breaths as you work through. It could be four in, four out. It could be four in, eight out. To stay with something that your lung capacity allows you to work with naturally. Continue ahead uh, with a little bit of movement. Remember the sequence of pranayam where you can work with deep breathing, just working through one nostril breathing and alternating the nostrils and lom below. You can take your practice as you feel comfortable. Uh, you could increase the counts in your self practice as well. Just ensure that you're steady and comfortable. Now, we're going to move ahead into a little bit of movement. Let's start with the ankles. So we can turn around. You can use the length of the mat. Let's come and sit on the mat. You can come and drop your hands slightly back. Ensure that you're not rounding in. Drop your hands, roll the shoulders. Let the center chest tuck the toes in. Stay relaxed and let's just try and engage the quads. Keep the toes tucked in. Push the heel out. 
Nice relaxed breathing. Avoid elevating your shoulders. Keep them depressed. Alright, gently point your toes down. Really pointing the toes down towards the floor. Lengthen the front side of the legs. Keep lifting the chest up. Breathe through the nose. Alright, let's add this with the breaths. Inhale as you tuck your toes in. Push the heels out. Exhale as you point the toes and feel the stretch. Inhale, tuck the toes in. Exhale as you drop into gravity. Inhale as you move against. Exhale as you drop in two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, toes in. Heel out. Exhale, point your toes. Beautiful. All right, let's come back and join your feet together in a namaste. Interlock your fingers. Now, I leave it up to you. Maybe you're not comfortable. Maybe your knees are up here and you'd like to leave your heels slightly far away. Or if you wish, you can pull your heels closer as long as you're comfortable. Now, throughout the day, we are lining up, sitting up on our computers or our mobiles, right? So, let's try and through the classes, try and just lift the chest up a bit. Instead of rounding, try and lift up and ensure there's no compression on the belly. Hold it here and breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Centre chest, side trunk up. Breathe through your nose. Nice, soft, smooth breathing. Alright, from here. For those who wish, you can move your pelvic slightly away if it's tricky. And then cup your hands, roll the shoulders, lift the chest up, walk your hands forward. The idea is to avoid rounding of the spine. Rather than going with a rounded spine, see if you can really push your shoulders into your chest. Keep your chin up, go forward, let your knees naturally drop by the sides. Keep your chin up, inhale. Exhale, maybe for some of you, you could be comfortable walking forward without any compression on your belly. Duck your chin and breathe. Maybe it's just over here or wherever you're comfortable as long as your back is flat. Nice relaxed breathing. Alright, slowly chin up. Now if you're comfortable, push the heels lightly away. Drop your elbows down. If you're not comfortable elbows dropping down, you can hold your fingers, keep your elbows tucked in. Round your spine and drop forward. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, rounding the spine, keep the chin tucked in, relax, no pressure on the pelvic. Alright, slowly as you inhale, chin up, push yourself up and come back. Okay. Now, we move into a little bit of um, ankle rotations. Let's try and work together in simple movements. You can turn around, use the length of the mat, ground your hands, maybe fingers pointing back or in front, however you're comfortable. Let's come and get the toes together, heels together, tuck the toes in. Alright, taking a quick distance. Let's go in for a little rotations. Inhale, exhale as you drop your toes down, inhale as you pull your toes in. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, last two, going with the breath, let's reverse, exhale, inhale, let's go two more. Last one. All right. Let's alternate. Let's go a few rotations. Alternating. Reverse. And relax. Okay. Let's come back. Move into a few wrist rotations. Okay. Very simple movements. Nothing too hectic. Uh, if your doctor has suggested you to take it easy, just simple joint movements could be fine. Nothing too much in terms of opening of the pelvic or anything, then that works fine. Alright, let's come and take your hands in front. 
fan your fingers, really tuck your palms inwards, pushing the wrists out. Alright, gently wrist dropping down, breathe, keep pushing the wrist out, fingers down. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, two more. Relax, relax, okay. Going through a few ankle wrist rotations. Let's come and twist your wrist and let's begin. Nice big movements. Inhale as you pull your wrist up. Exhale as you drop in. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Let's reverse. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Relax. Let's point your fingers down with the right hand. Push the wrist out. And breathe. Change. Fingers pointing up. Wrist pushing out. Relax. Let's move to the left side. Left fingers pointing down. And change. Alright, gently release. Let's move into a little bit of neck rotations from here. Simple movements, nothing too hectic or strong where you feel relaxed. Ensure that you are relaxed. Okay, let's begin. Inhale. Alright, let's begin. Inhale. Exhale, drop your chin down. Inhale, move to the left. Back, exhale, down and in. Inhale, exhale, coming down. Inhale, exhale, down. Inhale, exhale, down. Let's reverse. Inhale, exhale. Four more. Inhale. Exhale. You can leave your eyes closed. Relax. Go with the breath. Feel the nice turn and the stretches. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Exhale. Coming down. Alright. Slowly. Coming back. Now, let's come and change the leg. We've been sitting for too long on one side. You change. Now, we're going to move into a little bit of lateral stretches for the neck. You're going to point your right two fingers down to the floor. Take your left hand from over the ear, not from the front, from over the ear. Inhale. As you exhale, you'll point your right fingers down. Drop your head towards the left shoulder. Breathe through the nose, pointing the fingers down. Feel that stretch all the way to the right. Nice relaxed breathing. Inhale. Exhale. Sit up nice and tall. Avoid hunching in. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Exhale. Slowly release your hand. Point your left finger down. Take your right hand over. Inhale. Exhale, drop the head to the right, fingers pointing to the left. Inhale. Exhale, two more. Last one. Exhale, slowly release. Alright. Let's come in by ending with a little bit of shoulder work, right? So let's stand on our knees now. Hip width distance exactly as much as your hips. You leave distance in your knees. You can keep your toes tucked in or flat out, however you're comfortable. We'll work through a little bit of shoulder movement. Again, working with the breath, the same logic. Inhale as you work against gravity. Exhale as you're dropping in. Try and work with big movements of opening of the shoulders as we 
three. All right, let's go around the shoulders, stand tall, inhale, exhale, let's begin. Inhale, exhale, coming down, inhale, exhale, down, inhale, exhale, down. Continue, last one. Let's reverse. All right, let's reverse. Inhale, exhale. Last one. All right, you can come and sit on your knees. Let's walk through a little bit of elbow movements. This time, you won't come in all the way. We'll just try and draw circles on the side planes with the elbows. So come into your drops with your fingers and your shoulders. Inhale. Exhale. Let's begin. Inhale. Exhale. Try and make big circles on the side planes. Reverse. Inhale. Exhale. Three more. Last two. Last one. Relax. Very nice. Let's just come into a last shoulder stretch. Come and drop your right hand onto your right shoulder blade. So your hand will be trying and reaching for your right shoulder blade. Left hand going from top and keep pulling your elbow in, right hand going towards your scapula. Try and instead of hunching in, see if you can push your chest back, head up and breathe. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, last one. All right, gently release. Let's go with the left hand. Left hand reaching out towards the left scapula. Right hand going over, grabbing the elbow. Sitting up nice and tall. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Last one. All right, let's take the right hand over, left elbow lock, pull the shoulder towards your left and right elbow bend. Give a nice stretch, slowly coming back, left hand goes up, right elbow locks, inhale, exhale, pull the right shoulder from the socket, keep the right elbow bending and last one. Exhale, release. All right. Now, for those uh, who would wish to, maybe because of the belly getting big, uh, your legs start swelling up or the back starts aching, what you could do is come into Vipurit Dandasan, quite simple. Uh, what you need to do is you need to align your mat against the wall. Uh, go as close as possible. Go as close as possible to the wall. Come and lie down gently with the support of your elbows. You can wiggle a bit forward such that your hips go forward. Straighten out your legs and then see if you can still wiggle your hips to go closer. Keep your toes tucked in, hands on either sides. Push the heel up, toes tucked in, roll the shoulders, open the chest. Gently close your eyes and breathe. Soft, smooth breathing. Let's hold here for 8 to 10 nice, relaxed breaths. Soft, gentle breathing through the nostrils. Heels pushing up, toes in. Let the blood flow from your heels into your thighs, to your hips. Very good for even those who have sciatica, varicose veins. Very good to release the lower back pain. Nice, soft, smooth breathing through the nostrils. Let's hold your last three. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. 
Exhale, last one. Okay, I leave it up to you if you're comfortable. You can widen out the distance between the legs. You can hold here for a few breaths. Toes remain tucked in, heels out. For those who are comfortable to go a little more, but get your knees together, you can support with your hands. Let the knees drop outward, let the heel come closer. If not, just stay with your legs together, toes tucking in, hands on the sides. Okay, whenever you're ready, bend your knees gently, turn on to one side, push yourself up with your top hand and let's get ready for some Shavasana. You can either come and lie down on your back, onto your side or onto the back with a pillow under your legs. I think for today's class, just a little breathing and some pranayama works fine. We can come into a little Shavasana. Now for those uh, with bellies getting big, maybe you're not comfortable lying down in on your back. What you could do is take a pillow or a bolster, place it under your thighs and let your legs kind of rest onto it. It will keep your back nice and supported. Maybe for some of you, you are uncomfortable lying down on one side um, on your back. So what you could do is come and lie on one side. All you're going to do is just drop in, make a pillow with your hand and drop one leg over. Let the belly stay supported. Maybe your one hand drops down and this could be a Shavasana. Just stay here however you'd like to on your back, on your side with the pillow tucked in and just relax. Let's close our eyes, soft, smooth breathing. Keep the chest open, nice, relaxed breathing. Soft, smooth inhale. Soft, smooth exhale. Cooling of the body, soaking in today's little movement. Nice, relaxed breathing. Alright, whenever you're ready, you can get your feet together, interlock your fingers, give a nice long stretch, point your toes, flex your toes, give a nice stretch. Now bending your knees, you could turn on to one side gently and then keeping your eyes closed, you can stay here for a few breaths and then slowly push up. With all the support you need, come and drop your chin down, sit up nice and tall, come into a namaste, leave your head loose. Let's thank ourselves for giving this time today. Thank, the, thank our gurus, thank the divine to guide us through. Coming on, rubbing our palms together, generating some heat, cupping them onto your eyes. Gently release your hands, raise your chin. Thank you so much. I hope you had a nice practice and I'll see you as we keep adding videos into this. This is just the general guidance for all those uh, to be mamas uh, to encourage a little movement and nice breathing to regularize. Uh, to regularize the breathing, to come into a nice uh, breathing pattern. Remember the nervous system and the respiratory system are very interlinked. And uh, the more you work with your respiratory system, make your respiratory system strong. So will the willpower, the nervous system get more calmer and stronger. All right. Thank you so much. Have a good evening or a good day ahead.